Ladies and gentlemen, your host for the evening, Venom Xenomorph. Hello everybody, it's the Venom Xenomorph and welcome back to another episode of Vex's Horror Corner. Today we're going to be talking about two main topics. We're going to be talking about the Callisto Protocol to begin with, which is a game that honestly flew heavily under my radar. It, I, I really am excited to talk about this game now. And uh, the PC Gaming Show, which is going to be on Thursday, live streamed for you guys. I'm going to explain more details on that later. But let's get into the Callisto Protocol. So, this is a game that I've been hearing everybody announce as the new Dead Space. And rightfully so, considering that the main creator and directive head of this game happens to be the actual founder, co-founder of the studio and the creator of Dead Space. So, the fact that we're getting a game from this guy... Uh, that's very space-like, very similar to Dead Space, it is going to be very good and very interesting. So, I'm just going to get down into the nitty-gritty of this game right now, uh, and basically cover everything that we know about the Steam page and some of the other extra hidden details about this game. So, obviously in the narrative-driven third-person survival horror game, uh, it's currently set 300 years in the future, and the player will take on the role of Jacob Lee. A victim of fate thrown into Black Iron Prison, which is a maximum security prison located on Jupiter's moon Callisto. When inmates begin to transform into monstrous creatures, the prison is thrown into chaos, and to survive, Jacob must battle his way to safety to escape Black Iron Prison, while uncovering the dark and disturbing secrets buried beneath the surface of Callisto. Using a unique blend of shooting and close quarters combat, Jacob will need to adapt his tactics to combat the rapidly evolving creatures while scavenging to unlock new weapons, gear, and abilities to outrun the growing threat and escape the horrors of Jupiter's dead moon. It is the next generation take on survival horror from the mind of Glenn Schofield, blending atmosphere, tension, and brutality. Set on Jupiter's dead moon Callisto in the year 2320, the Callisto Protocol casts players as Jacob Lee, an inmate in the prison. When a mysterious outbreak throws the moon into chaos, J Jacob must face his darkest fears to defeat the bloodthirsty creatures that stalk him as he unravels the dark mysteries at the heart of the powerful United Jupiter Company. Well, that sounds very similar to uh, Wayland a little bit, like Wayland Yutani. Uh, especially since, uh, if you didn't know, the Alien movies, LV-426, uh, was actually inspired off of Jupiter. It is a gas giant. The Callisto Protocol challenges players to master a thrilling blend of hand-to-hand -hand and ranged combat, including a unique gravity weapon once used by Black Iron Guards to control the prison population. Players will be forced to get up close and personal with their grotesque opponents, hacking off limbs, blasting off legs, and getting creative with whatever is at their disposal to survive each life-or-death encounter. One of the most hostile, isolated environments in the universe, Callisto looms over... Jacob's desperate struggle to survive. Players must not only contend with the horrors of Black Iron Prison, but also the centuries-old secrets that plague Jupiter's long-dead moon, both above and below the surface. I'm really excited for this game. Uh, I want to start off by saying, like, Josh Dumal. Uh, hello? I, I didn't realize he was in this. I didn't know that he was in this game, uh, especially from the original marketing uh, of this game. I didn't know that he was the main guy. And then we're getting other casting characters like Kimiko from The Boys? Like, what What the fuck? Like, this game totally flew under my radar. I was not ready to talk about this game. I, I did not, like, I... One of the things that was weird was, like, somebody had announced... I, I don't know if it was a true or false leak. I actually think it was confirmed true later on that uh, one of the studios that was helping develop the Callisto Protocol had set it in the PUBG universe. It was in the PUBG universe, which is weird. It's a really weird little Easter egg. You know, uh, I, I believe that that's still accurate. I'm going to do more research after the, uh, the ending of the recording of this video and edit that in, whether that's still true or not. But holy shit, like, this game looks phenomenal. It sounds phenomenal it literally screams dead space in a different point of view and man the cast is the cast is thrilling to me the cast is really exciting i i like the look of a lot of these mutated creatures and the atmosphere and the gameplay looks really fun uh i'm definitely going to be picking up this game and playing it as soon as possible uh as soon as it launches pretty much so uh, just so everyone knows uh, I know I've been posting a lot of Vex's Horror Corner on a lot of podcasts lately. I will start playing playthroughs soon. 
uh, I just and uploading more normal content very soon. I just am focusing on these right now until stuff that is worth interesting time and worth uh, or investing, sorry, and worth uh, doing a playthrough and peaking interest. It actually shows up so stuff like paranormal tales which there will be an interview with the devs in the cards very soon um stuff like obviously the callisto protocol bendy in the dark revival comes out on tuesday so there's a lot coming out that's going to lead to playthrough series and i can't wait to cover that all with you speaking of other games though i'm going to kind of self promote the PC Gaming Show 2023. Uh, the reason why it's called the 2023 PC Gaming Show is because it's only focusing on games coming out in the next fiscal year. So games like Arc 2, Sons of the Forest, Nightingale, like I, these are games that I've been very excited about for a little while, and some of them unfortunately got pushed back to 2023, which it isn't too big of a deal considering some of the leaps and lengths that these games are going for in terms of trying to please their audiences. So I'm really excited to be covering this show. I'm going to be uh, broadcasting it here on the channel on November 17th at 9 or 10 a.m. Sorry, I'm, I'm going to be covering it at 10 a.m. The live stream will begin at 10 a.m. And I can't wait to see everybody there to be able to watch it with us. I, I really want to be able to enjoy this show and I want to be able to sh enjoy it with my community. So hopefully I'll be able to see you guys there. But if there's anything else you guys want to know on the Callisto Protocol, they do have their own personal site. Feel free to look them up on your own. And they also have a Steam page for you on, on PC and it will be available on PlayStation and Xbox. Uh, for the low, low price of $60 for the standard edition. Uh, you're able to pre-order that right now. And the release date for the Callisto Protocol is December 2nd. So mark your calendars, people. This is going to be a game you're not going to want to miss. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like and subscribe. And hit the notification bell for more videos like these. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!